Hello and welcome back to the channel. Last year, exactly 12 months to the day, we had a solar installation put onto our property. It cost us £8,600 and I've got the figures in. And I'm going to explain to you why that money is better off on the roof of your house than it is in your bank account. So first of all, let me tell you some of the things, some of the details of a solar installation that we had put in. We had a six kilowatt solar array put on the front and the back of the roof of our house. And we also had a 12 kilowatt lithium battery installation as well to run alongside it. For those of you that don't know, the idea here is that when there's excess energy coming from your roof, from your solar panels, rather than selling it back to the grid, you fill up your batteries and then you use that energy later on in the day. This means you can use tariffs such as Octopus Flux, I think it's called, where you get a cheaper amount of electricity early in the morning, so you charge your batteries up early in the morning, and then you pay a higher rate between 5 and 7 p.m. that day. The idea here is to try and balance the network, the actual national grid network, and also for you to be able to optimise your energy usage around how you live, uh, around whether you're at work during the day or at home all day, and also to then use appliances at certain times of the day to get the benefit of the system. £8,600 is obviously a lot of money. Um, I was lucky I had some savings put aside, but the interest rates were fluctuating, not very good. I was lucky to get 3.5%. Now that £8,600 over the course of, say, eight years, which is the buyback period for my solar installation, would earn me roughly £350 in interest per annum. Well, I've got the figures in, and I've got a graph for you to have a look at, and as you'll be able to see, we saved money. In fact, we saved £1,000, just over £1,000 over the course of the year, effectively making us £1,000 better off. Now, of course, anyone is going to say, well, you had to pay that money out, so you, you haven't earned anything, have you? You've actually lost money. Well, yes, initially there is that outlay, but if you save £1,000 on your electricity bill over the course of eight years, £8,000, you've also got the installation already there up on your roof. From that point on, you're saving £1,000 a year, which is a lot more money than you're gonna get for that money sitting in your bank account. So if we take a look at the figures, I've plotted a graph here. The blue line shows the amount of energy that we purchased from the grid. The green line, shows the amount of energy that we sold back to the grid, that's the feed-in, and the yellow line shows how much energy we actually paid for, purchased from the grid. Well, as you can see, from 2023, it was fairly steady over the course of the summer and the whole of that year, and then once we had the solar installed towards the end of 2023, you can see that the amount of power we had to purchase from the grid massively reduced. At the same time, we were also selling electricity back to the grid at a lower rate than we paid for it, obviously. But the most important thing here is we relied a lot less on energy from the grid. So a thousand pounds saved over the course of a year, buyback of just over eight years for the whole installation. Yes, you can get cheaper. There are companies out there offering much cheaper installations, uh, for example, I think I saw one quote we had was £5,500, which obviously is a lot less. But it's the equipment that we wanted that was important to us. We wanted a Solar X system. We wanted good quality and a large battery capacity. And we wanted something with a long warranty from a dealer that we could trust that's been around for a long time and is likely to still be around if we have any problems with the system, which they are. There are a lot of solar companies that appear and disappear very quickly, and if you've got problems, you don't want that to be happening. So that's why the money's better off on your roof than in your bank account. As always, I hope you found this video useful. Any questions at all, then drop them in the comments box below. And if you like the video, please consider giving me a subscribe to the channel. Bye for now.